Hey, Instant Fam, it's your favorite Gypsy Naya here. Um, back for another Money Monday message. Um, this week, we are talking about um, financial repair. You know, we started off a few weeks ago talking about credit repair. So we celebrated Doreen Delamonte because of how he helped to renew my mind. Um, for a lot of people, he helps to renew our minds when it comes to our finances. Then we celebrated Miss Sherry Beckley because she, you know, dropped all the gems. Like after, once your mind is renewed, you need to know exactly what the next step is when you're ready to take action, you know, to get your finances in order. And Miss Sherry Beckley is so attentive to that. And this week, we are celebrating this channel called Fireside Chat, okay? Um, I really, really appreciate this channel. This, this man on this channel, um, he just, you know, he just seems to have such a genuine spirit when it comes to not, not being materialistic, but being wealthy and, you know, being abundant without being overly materialistic and having way too much money. It is very possible to be too rich and have way too much money while there's a huge deficit of people who have none, you know? Um, I really appreciate the energy that he puts forth in his channel um, as the founder of a new faith, you know, called The Innocent Faith. Um, I was definitely convicted all, all the time. I'm always being convicted about who I encourage The Innocent Fam to celebrate. And, excuse me, excuse me, baby. Excuse me, y'all, my son. Okay, it's you know early in the morning. Uh, we, you know before we going out hair. Kid, you're welcome. Go drink. Go ahead. Um. Okay, I'm sorry. So, what was I saying? Okay. <laughs> um, when it comes to being humble and you know encouraging the innocent fam to celebrate other people who are humble and other people who are genuine i feel like us genuine people don't get enough of our flowers so we have to give them to each other i have to give the celebration i'm one of the people who make um balloon arches and you know can do a nice candy table you know how you pay party planners to go ahead and set up the gift table and the candy table at the birthday parties and anniversaries and baby showers and do all that pretty stuff and balloon arches, that's me, you know. If you're in the greater Wilmington area, I'll ask the girl for a party. But, um, yeah, it's just having that gift of celebration, God constantly reminds me on why I have that gift and how I need to use it. With this gift, it's like, you don't have to have a bad day. You can always find the good in everything. You can always find something to celebrate in your life, even in the darkest times. It keeps your vibration high. Celebration is a high vibration in itself. So with, with my gift of celebration, you know, today we are celebrating this channel called Fireside Chat. Um, and... Yeah, okay, so what, what just flipped over here with the gift of celebration um, that I was talking about. When you have the gift of celebration, what came out is the five of cups to the seven of pentacles to the star, okay? So when you have the gift of celebration, you, you'll go, you, you, you have hard times. You go through struggles, you know, you go through your dark night of the soul. You go through your share of disappointment. And then you take a good look, you know, the, the, the five of cups to the seven of pentacles means you're, you're going to take a good look at what you're sowing and you're going to see what areas you need to sacrifice and what areas you need to get up and try again. And then you heal yourself. You come out with your story nice and transparent with the star card. You come out with your story nice and transparent and you give your testimony. And your testimony pours out to others and blesses others. You heal. You heal with no problem when you have the gift of celebration because of that high vibration. You know, even you continue to manifest and continue to grow things from the ground up. You know, you might, you might, the seven of pentacles represents, you know, growing something from the ground up. And sometimes, you know, with the five cups, that's where you're at in life. So, you know, when you have the gift of celebration, you still turn out to be the healer. You still come out to be the star even after, you know, your dark night of the soul and after having to, you know, um, so and so and so, you might feel like you have sown so much and you have to keep your faith that 
you are healing yourself. You have to keep your faith and continue to heal yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, you're going to be abundant. You're, you're going you're going to keep growing. You're going to keep manifesting. You know, you have to get up and try again, okay? Um, but, you know, us, you know, us innocent fans, we have faith that can move mountains. So what, what I want to expose and, you know, shine a light on is this particular video on this channel, Fireside Chat. This video is called 10 Things to Do When You Win the Lottery, <laughs> okay? It says in 30 days. So let's say, you know, we're definitely going to pull some lottery numbers on this video. We're not going to do it separate like, I, like I've been doing. Um, but when you have faith that can move mountains, because the universe has been chasing you down with, with abundance, with wealth, because God is proud of you, because you are graduating, because you have, um, you have done the work to receive the desires of your heart. When you have that faith that can move mountains, you need to be ready. You need to know what to do in 30 days. It's like, okay, stay ready so that you don't have to get ready type of energy. I appreciate this video because that's the kind of faith I have. I'm sitting up here calling lottery numbers. I still have never paid the lottery, but I am going to start. Um, I know I said that in the summertime, and I didn't play. My bad. I'm going to try to play, and I'm going to see how this goes. Uh, but yeah, it says, you know, 10 things to do when you win the lottery. I really appreciated a lot of his morality in the video. Um, but let's see, it says... First, the first thing to do is to protect your lottery ticket. So what he advised us to do is to get a uh, fireproof safe. You know, it, it's up to you. It's, it, it's only, he said, it's only six states in the U.S. These are things that I did not know before God showed me this video, okay? There's only six states in the U.S. that allow you to remain con confidential in your winning. not always best to go and let them know that you won the lottery right away. I didn't know that. So that's the first thing you want to do. Whenever you decide, whatever you decide to go and claim your winning, that's up to you. But protect your ticket until then. Um, then we have establish a lottery trust. So what he explained in this 20 minute video is that um, you and a group of people can establish a trust fund for the lump sum, for, like for the lottery lump sum to be distributed. Um, he said people often do that instead of all of it going to one person and then you have to pay a whole lot of taxes and stuff on it. It can be distributed amongst a lottery trust. Um, you know, let's say you want to bless some family members, you win the lottery, you want to bless your mom, bless your dad, bless your nieces and nephews, I don't know. Well, you can establish what's called a lottery trust, okay? Um, and you do that before it says claim ticket ownership, okay? You do that before you claim ticket ownership. It says hire financial professionals. That is something you want to do if you are financially um, like when it comes to stocks and bonds and stuff like that, I really didn't know anything about this. Like, I'm just not ashamed. Listen, I didn't know anything about that. I am 34 years old, and I didn't know anything about a lot of the stuff that he talked about until he talked about it, which is why I appreciate this video, and I am illuminating his wisdom. Because, you know, he, he, he's not, like, old or anything either, you know. He came a long way from realizing that he was living paycheck to paycheck and then he became a financial advisor to many once he renewed his mind and took the steps to heal his finances. So here we are, you know? A lot of us don't know anything about that. So he talks about opening trust accounts and then hiring financial professionals, okay? It says hire a media spokesperson. So hire, pay somebody to represent you in the media. So you don't got to show your real face. 
so that you can go out and about. Now you're rich, right? <laughs> you want to be able to still go out and about without security. Like, you want to still be able to go and enjoy yourself in this life without everybody knowing that you're rich. You don't want to be in danger. Hire a media spokesperson. Hire a face to represent you. Okay? Then it says erase everything. <laughs> erase everything in a sense. Right before, right before you get your money, you know, erase everything, change your number, get new email, erase your life and start it all over. You can afford it. It'll be worth it. It takes a lot of work. Yes. It's annoying. Yes. But you don't understand how many people will all of a sudden uh, fool with you now that you got your bags, you know. So, all right. It says create a spending plan. So, one thing I learned growing up is that heard it in church. If you don't tell your money where to go, you'll be asking yourself where your money went. Okay? You're going to be asking where your money went if you don't tell it where to go. So money is under your control and under your authority. You send it where it needs to go. You tell it what to do. So create a spending plan. Okay? You don't always need to spend all of it. You don't need to save all of it either. Don't You don't need to hoard it. All right, and then it says pay off debt. That's important because if you have big debt, you know, they find out you got some money, and now, you know, they're going to start levying stuff just because you have money now. You know, when you got to pay taxes on lottery money, it alerts all of your creditors that, hey, this person has a coin. So pay off your debt before it's alerted to all the financial business world that you have some. about the lump sum versus the annuity plan, okay? And then he gives a lump sum calculation. I didn't know anything about, you know, lump sum versus annuity versus lump sum calculations and why this will be better and why that will be better, okay? So I really, really appreciate um, YouTube channels that give this kind of free information. Um, I absorb information. I learn really, really fast. I absorb information really, really well whenever I'm interested in it whenever I want to move forward in what I want to do and so for me it really just takes somebody to give me the step-by-step -step guidance in where I need to go if if it's an area that I don't know anything about um I'm extremely spiritual I'm a seer I you know I have all the spiritual gifting but a lot of times your spiritual gifting has to be grounded by the carnal realm properly so in my heart and in my spirit I want to give and give and give and bless people and bless people and bless everybody but the truth of the matter is that you have to be grounded and wise on how to make these financial decisions and channels like Fireside Chat make sure you have a lot of that wisdom and knowledge with just a 20 minute video but then he goes further into other videos and really really breaks this stuff down in a way that I can comprehend you know, anybody's got a comprehend. Um, and it's just it's just so appreciated. Just his energy, he's not real materialistic. He's a family man. His energy is just really, really authentic. And I definitely, you know, want everybody to kind of head over to that channel to learn some things, okay? Um, all right, so with that being said, since we have the faith that moves mountains and everything, um, let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and pull some lottery numbers for today's date. I'm going to put the date on the screen. Alright. We're, we're going to shuffle that again. These are little teeny, easy, easy, you know, cards. Easy, easy. Okay, this popped out for the second time. Okay, so two of the lottery numbers. These same exact cards just popped out. I tried to just put back in the deck. Number eight. Okay. Number eight and zero. All right. Number eight and zero. Let's pull three more numbers. We will pop out these that are so little. All right. Let's go. It's a 
bottom of that, I have another eight. Oh, little. Throughout the week. 
it could be scratch offs or anything, you know, who knows? But these numbers can definitely be very significant to your abundance and to you gain financial wealth, okay? Nothing else is coming out. I'm sitting here shuffling. Nothing else is coming out. So we have Massachusetts, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Texas, Colorado, Minnesota, and Iowa, okay? All right. Um, thanks again, Fireside Chat. I will be posting his videos. I will be posting the video that I was referring to um, on the community board, you know, just to celebrate this channel and the light work that he is doing. It's greatly appreciated, and um, he, he, just a, he, he seems like a really, really cool guy who really, really knows his stuff, and that's what I appreciate, all right? Love you, Minister.